My name is James J. Claffey. Um, I'm a sport exercise performance psychologist. Uh, I've been working in IBA for the last three years. Uh, my background would have been initially down an undergraduate degree in sports coach and recreation leisure management. Um, after that then, I've done a master's in sport exercise performance psychology um, and have been practicing in that field for around the last 10, 11 years. Um, within that time, I've worked with athletes who will be competing and training to go to the Olympics and also a number of athletes who be considered professional athletes within the country, within, let's say, professional football here. Um, and I've worked with a number of athletes who are at county level in terms of GAA and Horland within Ireland as well. A student would learn uh, a number of different facets within the realms of psychology. They'd get a background in terms of the foundations of where psychology began and how the early beginnings of normal clinical social psychology actually led into sport and exercise psychology, leading them into more practical things that they could use in the industry then. So it wouldn't be necessarily just theory based. They'd be learning how to implement things like goal setting, like motivation, how to talk and speak with athletes in relation to mental image visualization um, and then they would have learned a number of different facets then about how the brain works uh, the, diff the actual difference between our thoughts and our emotions how to regulate our emotions so they'd have a lot of uh, practical skills and tools that they'd be able to take then into the industry uh, for industry ready qualification We've got a number of different uh, students in, 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 the, in terms of the student cohort here. We have a lot of professionals who are working and come here after work in terms of the part-time diplomas that they do. But we tend to get um, people who've obviously done the leave insert as well, who are coming in and trying to find their direction in life. Maybe not ready for a four-year degree, but are looking for something to just link them into their vocation that they want to go and study or work in over the next 20, 30 years or whatever it is. We have a, a habit of trying to get them into the thinking and the idea of not just getting themselves a job, but trying to create a career for themselves, something that they want to get up in the morning to do. My approach to lecturing will be the same as it is to coaching. It would have to be very interactive, trying to make people do things, learning through doing as opposed to just observation. There'll be a lot of group work that we do within the class. Uh, half of the actual um, marks that they'd achieve during the year for continuous assessment will be in group work. So teaching them the dynamics of a team, role, the importance of role clarity within a team. And then maybe sometimes the reality is we've got to work with people sometimes that aren't the same personality as us. So how do we do that? What way do we meet a, a solid meet a ground in the middle? Um, so for us, it's very much an interactive approach where it's student-led. Students come in, they interact with each other, and I'd never be as naive to believe that me as a tutor or a lecturer is just gonna teach for the whole time. It's, it's about students, uh, student-led learning and peer-to-peer -peer learning, which is one of the most powerful tools that we have.